Today, today, we're gonna win. We're gonna fight, fight, fight. Notre Dame stops it. The Irish win the game. Play with your brothers. You got a great opportunity. Let's go seize the moment. Let's go play. Inside Notre Dame Football with Brian Kelly is presented by Team Notre Dame members Adidas, Gatorade, McDonald's, Coca-Cola, and Sprint. Inside Notre Dame Football is also brought to you by ATI Physical Therapy, Bank of America, Cadillac, CBTS, Xfinity, Meyer, Notre Dame Federal Credit Union, Sears, Sirius XM Satellite Radio, and UPS. The challenges for this team week in and week out were as large as any team that I've coached here at Notre Dame. And I think uh, just really proud of the way our guys competed and battled and by the end of the season um, really enjoyed watching them play. Irish head coach Brian Kelly talking about his 2013 Irish football team that faced many hurdles but still became the first Notre Dame football team in 20 years to win at least eight games for a fourth consecutive season. Hello again Irish fans and welcome to this special edition of Inside Notre Dame Football with Brian Kelly. I'm Jack Nolan. Over the course of the next half hour, we will review the 2013 season, preview the Pinstripe Bowl matchup with Rutgers, and look ahead to the 2014 season. As we go to break, Coach Kelly talks about again playing one of the toughest schedules in the country this past season, one that featured four teams that finished in the top 14 of the final BCS standings. I think at Notre Dame, you know you're going to play that kind of schedule year in and year out, and that's why you come to Notre Dame. You're going to get challenged. So, you know, our kids like that opportunity, and they relish the opportunity to play that kind of schedule week in and week out. And I think what makes it uniquely different for us is that we have to play some of the younger guys. When you have the most live college football, food's ready. Okay, coming. All you want to do is watch college football. With Xfinity from Comcast, you get the most live college football, including ESPN Go Line and Watch ESPN. You can't get all that with satellite, so switch to the Xfinity HD Premier XF Triple Play or ask about other bundles starting as low as $99 a month for a year. You're all for the most live sports. Xfinity. One more, one more. Yo, yo. Proven hydration to help replace what you sweat out. One more champion. One more champion. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Before they earned enough cash back from Bank of America to help pay for Benny's expenses. Before they earned 1% back on all purchases. Everywhere. Every time. And 2% back at the grocery store. Even before earning 3% back on gas. With no hoops to jump through. They opened a Bank AmeriCard Cash Rewards credit card just in time to open their hearts. That's the magnitude of rewarding connections. Apply online or at a Bank of America near you. You know the problem with tall things in small spaces? Like dishes that don't fit in the top rack of the dishwasher. Come into Sears. I'll tell you about our one-hand adjuster on our exclusive Kenmore Elite dishwasher. It's amazing what'll happen when tall things have the right space. Also amazing, J.D. Power ranks Kenmore Elite highest in customer satisfaction. One appliance store helps more people find savings and solutions than any other. This is Sears. Victories over Michigan State, Arizona State, and of course USC highlighted an injury-riddled 2013 season that earned the Irish their fourth consecutive bowl bid. Coach Kelly takes us through the 2013 regular season from start to finish. I think we were trying to find ourselves early in the year identity-wise, offensively with Tommy, a quarterback. Uh, I thought we managed things quite well. Uh, and then defensively, you know, trying to find ourselves in that leadership void. I thought our guys continued to, to grow and some exciting wins. You look back on the Michigan State win, proves to be a pretty big one. Uh, the USC win at home uh, and then Arizona State. Uh, I think those things stand out. 
and, and a gritty win against uh, BYU after a disappointing loss to Pittsburgh and a lot of injuries where I think guys could have you know made excuses um, but went on the road against Stanford and battled and had an opportunity to win a game. Very few of the teams in the top 20 in strength of schedule play as many top 10 teams as you play regularly and as you played this year. Yeah, the challenges for this team week in and week out were as large as any team that I've coached here at Notre Dame. And I think coupled with the fact that we were shorthanded at times, uh, make it for me even more significant in terms of the things that were accomplished. I thought our coaching staff did a great job this year in terms of keeping the kids up and uh, finding that next man in. We've kitted, you know, obviously, next man, next man in. And I really am proud of the way our kids battled through some adversity. Never really got to a point where uh, they didn't believe that they could win every game they played. When you look at this year's team, are there some players who really stand out as maximizing their ability and their level of performance throughout the season? I think you start with a T.J. Jones. Uh, you get everything out of him. You know, every ounce of his six foot, you know, 195 pounds, he gave us everything he had, every snap. I think you got to say that for Tommy Rees as well on the offensive side of the ball. We got everything out of Tommy. You know, he's not the most talented player on the field, but you're going to get everything for him every single play. I think on the defensive side of the ball, Dan Fox, you know, playing the Mike linebacker position, which is really not a natural position in the 3-4 defense for him. He's really a will linebacker, and unselfishly he moved to Mike, uh, which really took away some of his playing time, but he did it for the team. I think we maximized everything. Uh, from him and he gave us all that he had. I think you look at Austin Collinsworth as well, another player that uh, just plays with a passion and gives us everything and you know when you coach and you get players that, that give you all that they have, that's all you can ask for. Lewis Nix who played very well but he's very significant for the success he has had here when you consider his background probably not what has in the past been the typical background for a Notre Dame player. Well, I think we opened up the door of South recruiting uh, in terms of the defensive linemen from the South that generally went to the SEC. Uh, we were able to get Lewis Nix to, to come to Notre Dame because he saw Notre Dame for what it really was. It wasn't a place for him to just hang his hat before he went to the NFL. It was a place for him to get a degree, and that's exactly what he did. He got his degree from Notre Dame. Now certainly he's going to move on to the NFL and fulfill a dream. So he opened that door uh, for that South recruiting that I think is so important for Notre Dame, especially on the defensive line. Coach Kelly believes there are many reasons to be optimistic about what lies ahead for the Notre Dame football program in 2014. Well, I think we've gotten a number of players experience that, that are going to see a ton of time next year. So a lot of returners, certainly from my standpoint, a lot of coaches coming back. Even though we'll have some new coordinators, we'll have continuity on both sides of the ball from that standpoint. I just think that the little bit of change and continuity, a lot of young players getting a chance to play and, and they know how to play the game, uh, I think that bodes well for 2014. to try new things. Now we have bold new tastes like never before. You like things made by hand. We're now grilling up freshly made egg whites. You like to cool down. We just added a refreshing new smoothie. You get wrapped up in things. We're introducing new delicious ways for you to eat. There's no one quite like you. Now more than ever, there's something for everyone to love at McDonald's. DNR app. Go to I'mLovingIt.com. You know the problem with tall things in small spaces? Like dishes that don't fit in the top rack of the dishwasher. Come into Sears. I'll tell you about our one-hand adjuster on our exclusive Kenmore Elite dishwasher. It's amazing what'll happen when tall things have the right space. Also amazing, J.D. Power ranks Kenmore Elite highest in customer satisfaction. One appliance store helps more people find savings and solutions than any other. This is Sears. 
It's college football season, and the orders are pouring in. Sales spike, I'm happy. Profits up, I'm happy. Millions of fans, no time. I'm nervous. Can we handle the logistics? Use UPS. Digital tracking, proactive alerts, less paperwork. We save time, customers get what they need. Everybody's happy. Hey! Buckeye's happy. Gator's happy. Hog's happy. I'm happy. 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 It's a win. 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 Win! I love logistics. The bid to the Pinstripe Bowl gives this year's Notre Dame football team a much desired opportunity to end the season with a victory. The bowl bid also allows the team to get back on the practice field throughout the month of December, but the initial bowl practices are a bit different when compared to other non-game week practices the rest of the year. You know, the practices are, are not like spring ball where there's a lot of development going on because there's shorter practices because you have exams and you are um, in a period of time where you can't get total focus on, on all the young guys because you are preparing in a short window for a football game too. A lot to be proud of with this season, but for you and your players, the bar was higher. Nobody is satisfied with what happened this year. With that in mind, what has their attitude been like as they have gotten back on the practice field this month? Well, they want to win. You know, they look at this as a chance to win uh, their ninth game. And, and I think our seniors understand how important it is to get to that ninth win. Uh, and I think the entire program knows that nine wins is significant. What are your expectations for the week your team will spend in New York? Well, we want to balance it off for them. We want them to, to enjoy New York City and all that has to offer. It's Christmas time. Uh, I think there's camaraderie and uh, there's an opportunity to share uh, in some really neat things that happen at Christmas time in New York City, uh, as well as get a chance to prepare for this football game. We'll balance all those things uh, in one of the great cities of the world and uh, enjoy being in the company of our team and our, our support staff and all that travel with us. Um, and I know that everybody's excited about it. What does it say about your program that two other programs have decided that your coordinators on this year's staff are the right men to lead their programs back to prominence? Well, I think it says a lot about Notre Dame and, and what we do in this football program to give them a chance to develop uh, as leaders. And, you know, I, I've always said that, you know, we have leadership positions in this program. We give them a chance to lead in so many ways, uh, in the media, in front of their, their team. And, and I'm happy for Chuck. I'm happy for Bob. You know, now it's, it's a, a place where people can look at and say, you know, I can go to Notre Dame. I can help them win. I can help develop the Notre Dame football program. And maybe it helps me also lead a program someday, too. Now we will take a look at the Rutgers team Notre Dame will face in the Pinstripe Bowl in our last segment. But first, as we go to break, a look at the long history of success Notre Dame has had playing football in the Bronx at the two buildings that have carried the proud name of Yankee Stadium. There was a lot of talk about Notre Dame playing in a warm weather bowl game this year, but it did not take long for the players to warm up to the idea of playing an iconic Yankee Stadium. There was pluses to all those spots that we could have gone to, you know, Hawaii and San Diego being the warm weather, but, you know, being in New York and being close to home, that's also up for us. Uh, New York Yankee Stadium, it doesn't get much better than that. If you've got to play in cold weather, you know, stay in a hotel in Rockefeller Center and just do things and go to certain venues in, you know, the heart of New York, it doesn't get much better if you have to, you know, play one game in uh, cold weather. Anytime you get to play at a baseball stadium like that, especially the Yankees, um, you know, it's pretty special. So give those younger guys a chance to do that. And, um, you know, we're, we're looking forward to it. Notre Dame is a substantial favorite to defeat Rutgers in the Pinstripe Bowl, leading some to doubt the significance of the contest. However, the Irish players we talked to left no doubt the team is looking at the Pinstripe Bowl as a very important game for Notre Dame. I don't really think you can say you can't gain anything from a game, you know. It's another chance for you to go out and, you know, show who you are as a team. So uh, going out with the win is huge. Uh, you know, it transitions into the next season. It's, uh, it's really the last thing that you remember. It really doesn't matter with the opponent because, you know, everyone's going to come in and they're going to be ready to play Notre Dame. You're going to get their best, their best bet. So and we have to be prepared for Rutgers to play really well. You know, get nine wins on the year and, and you don't want to lose your last game at Notre Dame. You know, I think we understand that and we're playing for each other and playing for, you know, um, you know, the pride that we have in this program and the pride we have in ourselves. Coach Kelly is often asked who is the best player he has ever coached. Now, when you've been a head coach for 24 years, it is a hard question to answer, but not if you ask coach to name the most productive player he has ever coached. It's going to be 
Zach Martin when it comes to the most productive player that I've coached uh, in my career in terms of every single play. He is involved as that left tackle in every single play. I don't know that I've ever had a, a player that is so focal to what happens um, every single play. Um, he's going to go down in history as one of the greats here at Notre Dame. You wait all year for summer. This summer was definitely worth the wait. Summer's best event from Cadillac. Let summer try and pass you by. Lease this all new Cadillac ATS for around $299 per month or purchase for 0% APR for 60 months. The best offers of the model year end September 3rd. Sprint honors Lizzie and Kim's call on our new network. Ryan is a total hottie McHarterson. Obvi, he's amazeballs. He's like the hottest hottie that ever hottied. He's like a hottie times infinity plus another infinity. And his smile is totes adorbs. Totes my goats. It's cray cray adorbs. Totes my goats. In honor of the important things you do, save up to $100 on any new phone when you switch to Sprint. Before the break, you heard Coach Kelly call Notre Dame two-time captain and left tackle Zach Martin the most productive player he has ever coached. How productive has Zach been? Well, when he took the field at Stanford, Zach was making his 51st consecutive start at Notre Dame, which set the record for most career starts by any Irish player in Notre Dame history. That moment is this week's ATI Physical Therapy Moment of the Week. My dad always taught me to find something you love and do it. You know, it's really the ultimate team sport, so you yeah, just kind of a passion for the game. And I think that's important too because you can, you know, go out there and play well in the game or play in games and stuff, but uh, it really takes a, another level to come out every day of practice and you really enjoy what you're doing. Coming up shortly, Notre Dame and Stanford on a beautiful night for football in Northern California. It's interesting. He came back for his senior year, not because he wanted to improve his draft status, but which he has, coincidentally, but because he wanted to play with his brother. And so he also understands the element that the game has to have fun to it. Because if it's not fun and you don't enjoy the game, you can't play that many games in a row because it becomes a job. You just gotta have fun with it, you know. I've, I've, these have been the best five years of my life, and I'm going to work every day with my favorite people in the world, you know, outside my family. So it's a blessing to go out there and go, you know, play a game with your best friend. So it doesn't last forever. So you got, you got to, you got to cherish these moments and and really take advantage of it because it, it, it goes by fast. You know, Coach Heastan always talks, and uh, we talk about pride. It's a personal pride. And I think that's just something that my, my parents, my dad, who's, you know, played the game and, and been successful in, in what he does. And, you know, it's a personal pride that you're not going to you're not going to be the guy that lets everyone down on the field. You're not going to be the guy who lets uh, everyone down. So I think the biggest thing for me is, is my personal pride that I'm going to go out there and, and do my job on every snap and um, do it to the best of my ability. And it will be first and 10 Notre Dame. Yeah, I mean, the first series is always a little, you know, a little jitters just it's the first snap. I mean, I have to get the first snap out of the way. Uh, you settle down, but you know, I've started you know 50 games, and I still get butterflies before every every uh, first snap. As they set up in a spread formation, two receivers to either side, five offensive blockers. Reese standing at his 26-yard line on first and 10 from the 32. Here's the snap. With that snap, Zach moved to the top of this very impressive list of Irish players in career starts ahead of Sam Young, Zibby, and Maurice Crum Jr. and Brady Quinn. Now, during the second half of the season, Ben Koyak emerged as the next potential star tight end at Notre Dame when he caught eight passes for 139 yards and two touchdowns during a three-game stretch in November, earning him the right to appear on the final 60-second drill of the season. Best pet, dog or cat? Definitely a dog. Favorite musical group or artist? Oh, that's a tough one. I'll just, I'll shoot Maroon 5 right now. Favorite restaurant anywhere you like to eat at? Um, original Pancake House. Get up early or sleep in? Get up early. Best nickname on the team and who has it? Coin Monster, definitely me. Favorite pass to catch? 
Uh, probably inside vertical. Best moment on the field for a tight end? Uh, either getting that big block or scoring a touchdown. Best singer on the team? Uh, probably, probably Andrew Hendricks. Best dancer on the team? Uh, probably me or Andrew Hendricks. Best comedian on the team? Uh, I'd also go with me or Andrew Hendricks. Best dresser on the team? Uh, I'm gonna have to go with Nikki Brody. Worst dresser on the team? I'm saying I'm up there with the sweatpants, but I might have to go try on that one too. Best thing about playing for Notre Dame? Uh, just getting to play with a, a bunch of guys who love to run around the field. Ben Kowak, you've completed 60 seconds of Inside Notre Dame football. Thank you. Okay, here we go. Wow. <laughs> cool, huh? Good job. Thank you. Okay, let's go inside. When you get all your lighting and Christmas decorations at low Meyer prices, you can spread the spirit of the season a little further. And the further you spread the spirit, the better the holidays get. I'm very happy I made the switch. It's easy. They're great. As I go out, being nervous about going out into the world. You switch because. For what you get and what, what they give back. Of the people. It just be another thing that I know is there for me all the time. It's a no-brainer. It's about family. It's about values. It's about doing things the right way. And that's why I'm sticking with them. You just get sucked in, and it's great. We're there. Notre Dame Federal Credit Union. Come home. You know you're going to get the best when you go to Notre Dame Federal Credit Union. It's time now for this week's Ask Coach Kelly question presented by CBTS. Now with this being the holiday season, I know many of you are either buying Notre Dame gear for your friends and family or receiving the same from friends and family. So I thought this question from Tom H of Fairview Park, Ohio was appropriate for this show. He asked coach, I've noticed that you have been sporting some pretty spiffy attire on the sidelines. Do you get much say in what you wear on game day? Well, we, we do have a little bit of input with um, our contract with Adidas in the off offseason. Uh, so we do select some of the stuff, but I'll give a lot of the credit to Ryan Grooms, who, who's uh, he's got a pretty good eye for putting all of those uh, packages together. So uh, Ryan Grooms, Molly Anderson, uh, they do a nice job of making sure that we're well attired. When the Pinstripe Bowl matchup between Notre Dame and Rutgers was announced, one observer tweeted out, it's New York's college football team against New York's college football team. There will be a great atmosphere in Yankee Stadium for this year's Pinstripe Bowl. And even though the Irish are big favorites, Coach Kelly and his players expect a good performance from a Rutgers team that scored 51 points against Fresno State and beat Arkansas this past season. You know, you look at their game against Fresno State, who's, you know, a prolific offensive team. They were able to put a lot of points on, that, on them early in the season, a win against an SEC team. And, and this will be their Super Bowl. They're just down the road in New Jersey uh, playing against Notre Dame, uh, entering into the Big Ten. This is their opportunity to really show their program. And I mean, I, I think it's important that we establish, uh, first of all, what we're going to do offensively. And, and be who we are, you know, not giving up big plays has been one of our mantras all year defensively. Make them earn everything. Um, I think if we can do that, we'll be in good shape. And that will do it for the fourth season of Inside Notre Dame Football with Brian Kelly. We, of course, will be back next season beginning with coaches' analysis of Notre Dame's season opening game against Rice. Until then, thanks so much for watching each and every week this season. Happy holidays to all, and as always, go Irish. Inside Notre Dame Football with Brian Kelly has been presented by Team Notre Dame members Adidas, Gatorade, McDonald's, Coca-Cola, and Sprint. Inside Notre Dame Football has also been brought to you by ATI Physical Therapy, Bank of America, Cadillac, CBTS, Xfinity, Meyer, Notre Dame Federal Credit Union, Sears, Sirius XM Satellite Radio, and UPS.